Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at Kung Fu Foot from Hector Mancha and Vanishing Incorporated. What is this? Uh, basically, it's a card stab. You know, you throw the deck of the cards up in the air and you stab the one that the spectator selects. However, this time you're doing it with your foot. You wanna see the trailer? This is it. Hi, I am Hector Mancha, world champion of magic, but I am not a magician at all. I am more like a ninja. One card trick, okay? Take one card. This one. Look to it. Look, look, look it. Put inside the deck. And shuffle, shuffle. I'm going to try to find your card, but with my foot. With my foot. Okay? Give me the card. What was your card? Six of hearts. Six of hearts. Look. One. Two. Six. All right, so that was Hector Mancha, that was Kung Fu Foot brought to you from the good people down at Vanishing Incorporated. A couple of questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What's in the box? You're getting a real box. Uh, it's a big slide out drawer box because inside that, you're getting the entire rig. Yes, it's an entire rig, uh, kids, that you need. You're also gonna get one sample uh, discard card, okay? And then you're gonna get the download code to the 41 minute video. Is it what I thought? You know what? I didn't really even know what to think on this one. Uh, it was just interesting and funny. It was, it was a humorous uh, advertisement to watch and gave you a chuckle. And so I was really looking forward to seeing how Hector solved this puzzle. How are the angles? The angles on this are pretty clean. You certainly don't want anyone behind you, but I think Hector would argue that this trick is really more towards stage. You're not doing this trick uh, and walk around. You're not doing it in street magic. You could do it in street magic, but I would, I would say you could only do it once. Once, okay, so sometimes with stage magic, it's kind of rigged and set up so that you can perform it one time, and this is definitely a one-hit wonder. Can it be inspected? Um, well, like I said, it is a stage trick, okay? Or it could be a party trick. You could do this at birthday parties. Uh, this would be a fun thing to do. I think at kids' birthday parties, they would certainly, they would laugh. I think kids love socks and smelly feet and jokes like that, so I think this is definitely uh, right up that alley. But as far as it being inspectable, I will add, I will say that it ends dirty, okay? It ends very dirty, and this is part of the reason why the setup takes so long to do, or the reset, I would say. Uh, and so, but Hector does give you a funny cleanup option, but it's not really inspectable. In fact, the card's not really even inspectable afterwards. Uh, you kind of have to tear it uh, to get it out of the rig. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, like I said, the video is 41 minutes long. It looks like Hector's filmed this entirely in his white bricked garage. There's no microphone and there's no background music, so it is kind of echoey. Uh, Hector does have a very thick accent and I've watched a lot of magic instructions, especially with teachers that have accents. And I would say Hector's is definitely on the thicker end. It, it was hard to understand at times. Um, it's all done, like I said, in this garage. There's like work boots and a old bicycle and fireman equipment in the background too. So it's, it's interesting. Uh, Hector does give you a couple of other shots. So you do have multiple camera angles and he spends a lot of the time on the DIY and the rigging. What's taught on this video, like I said, you're gonna get this big DIY portion. There's cleanup, obviously, performance, and et cetera. Is it well made? It is well made, uh, and Hector does give you one crucial piece that you need that is kind of the homemade part, but there are a couple of other parts that you probably already have in your closet or your magic drawer or parts that you could find easily from a magic store. So uh, there are there are some familiar parts and then there's this made handmade part uh, that goes together but everything is well made. 
How much practice does this require? Um, I think it is simple. It is a simple trick, and I think most of the practice has to do with, with timing, okay? So there is a lot of timing involved, and of course you want to make it look natural. There's nothing worse than throwing the cards up, and then they all fall down, and then you go for the card stab. That doesn't work. And then the opposite is also true, that you do the card stab while the cards are really high up in the air. <laughs> so you kind of want to have to time it just right so that the effect looks perfect. How much setup and reset is there? Like I said uh, a little earlier, the, the setup and reset on this are extensive. It is a rig, it's a full body, well it's a half body rig, everything from your waist down is really rigged. And it's not clothing optional, okay? So you do need specific pieces of clothing. You do need pants, okay? Obviously, you can't wear shorts. And you can't wear tight pants, okay? You have to wear loose-fitting pants. Pants, you know, chinos or khakis or something like that would be fine. Uh, jeans are probably fine, okay? And you're gonna need black socks because this does use a black art effect. And so you do need to wear black socks as well. And I would just argue that, again, it's probably a one-hit wonder. You're not gonna do this more than once a night unless you have time to go backstage and completely reset up uh, everything that you're wearing. Positives. All right, so what are the positives to Kung Fu Foot? Uh, Hector Mancha has made the classic card stab funny. This would be great for comedy stage magic or people who work birthday parties. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? You know, like we say around here, there's negatives to everything. These are just the negatives that I see. They don't have to be the negatives that you see. Uh, like I said, lots of reset. Lots of reset, so again, just know your audience, know your performance area, and there's dirty work involved at the end. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's 30 bucks, 30 bucks. Uh, and like I said, there's some parts that uh, you need, and there's some parts that you probably already have. Uh, this probably could have had a lower price point if Hector had put more DIY into it for you on your end, maybe that would have made it a little bit more affordable, made the packaging a little bit smaller. Maybe uh, that could have been done, but it, it wasn't done, so this is what you got. So, But I do think that, you know, especially for a 41 minute video, this is definitely in the right ballpark. Uh, tricks today, they're all in within the 20 to $30 price range, so I think this definitely fits. Who would like this? Like I said, stage magicians, funny stage magicians, funny stage magicians, uh, party magicians, people who do uh, party magic, or at least that you know they're gonna perform this one time. All right, so that is Kung Fu Foot from Hector Mancha and Vanishing Incorporated. As always, I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this trick so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like this trick for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.